Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick tag video, what's wrong with my bags? Now I'm super excited for this one because there's so many bags I have, but if there's only something that was slightly different about it, it would be that perfect everyday bag. Unfortunately, you won't know until you start using it because it's different for everyone. I love hearing about things that you know could be changed, what other people think, and I wanna share with you my thoughts around this. So let me know if you guys agree. Um, but I was tagged by I'm Bag Happy. Thank you so much for tagging me. Um, this was so much fun to like go through my inventory and you know, feeling out like what I like and don't like. So I'm just gonna hop right in. Before I get started, like always you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I love handbags. I love talking about fashion. I love talking about, you know, anything that is contemporary designer. And if that's something that you love as well, please consider subscribing. And I'm gonna drop my Instagram information here. If you're not following me, please check me out. I would love to meet you guys. Um, and with that said, let's get started. In no particular order, I'm gonna start off with this one. This is my Hourglass in a size small, the Balenciaga Hourglass. I love this little bag. In fact, I'm gonna use her today because I haven't used her in so long, but I just love the silhouette of this. I love the simplicity. So what really caught my attention was the fact that the size was mini enough, but still fit like a decent amount. I love the clean look and the like little silhouette to this with the gold hardware and this little back pocket is just perfect. Now, the only thing I wish um, that they could change basically is if they were to add a feet because making it stand would be so much better. And I know like this part, because it goes in will not make any kind of um, indentation, but right here, definitely will because you kind of need feet here for it to stand or else you're going to have you know um, wear and tear here eventually but not on this section so not a big deal but if they had brass hardware right here here just to match the rest of the hardware i think it will look so much better um but yeah there's not really much i would change to this bag minus that i just love the look of this i mean as an extra bonus right now so the strap that it comes with Actually, I think I have the strap stored away, but it's a thin strap. I'll insert the full image here. But if they also gave like an alternative strap, maybe like a statement strap or just something with the more utility feel, I feel like that will look really cute um, with the style as well. But I love carrying her as a top handle, as a crossbody. Um, I just think she's like a great little bag. So yeah, this is the hourglass. The second bag is the Louis Vuitton Palace. Now this is this bag came out, I think, I want to say like around 2013, 2014, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's definitely like the older model, I would say, not vintage, but older. Um, and I fell in love when I first saw this bag because it has these like magnetic little pockets. And I was, and I just thought it'd be so convenient to like put your keys in there, your phone, anything you need. And at that time, this was like the perfect size for me. Um, and I just love the simplicity. I love how you could wear it as like a handheld like this, and then also as a crossbody. Now, I have a love and hate relationship with this bag. I love it because I feel like the quality of this bag is so much better than what it is currently at Louis Vuitton. The second thing is, um, I just feel like, although it's not a popular bag, it's like a classic look and it won't go out of style. And I think it matches with, you know, any outfit. It's just, is like a, it's like very true to Louis Vuitton, in my opinion. Um, a couple of things. The first one is the strap. Now this is the strap that comes with um, the bag. It's a short strap like this. So when you attach it, it is short like this. So you can wear it here, but the strap to me is not short enough and not long enough. So if I wear it as a crossbody, like that's not gonna work, right? But then if I wear it as like a shoulder, it's like too long for my liking. I don't think it is um, proportionate enough to look good. 
so yeah, I, I don't like it because of that reason. I just feel like it's almost like uh, pointless to have this strap here. I guess you can just carry it like this and it's more, acts more as an accessory. If you really need it, you can put it on your shoulders. I wish that the strap would be a little bit longer so at least you can wear a crossbody if you want to be hands-free. However, the bag is kind of big for a crossbody so it wouldn't look that great, I guess. However, the option would be nice. And the second thing that's totally my fault is I love... As much as like I'm scared of Vachetta, I also really love Vachetta because I think it's beautiful and it just looks really nice. Um, but, you know, like I don't wear this back because, I mean, I've had this back for a while. Do you see like it's already kind of patinaing? So it has this like beautiful honey color, but that is not going to match this right here because this is like a beige and this is going to turn into like a dark honey. So you're going to have an off um color and originally i was thinking i can always replace these later on because they said that you can but with the price increases and everything i think if i replace the these handles you're looking at like a thousand dollars which kind of like is um half the price of the bag so i just don't think that's worth it i wish you know um on the newer louis vuitton items i'll drop a couple here how it's already honey patinaed as is and you can actually it's coated so it's not going to change colors it is what it is i wish they did it on the straps or on the handle as well as this so i don't need to worry about it i could wear it in the brain i can do whatever and it would just remain the same but because it's not to hold it um by the top handle is like a risk for me and i just don't know if i like that idea so unfortunately yeah this is uh um <laughs> those are things i would change on the louis vuitton plot. third bag is my ultimate Fendi baguette my favorite bag currently in my collection I love this bag because like I've mentioned before when I think of a bag if I could be any bag I would be the Fendi baguette because it's a little edgy it's not super traditional but it's not too much it's just right and it kind of is a little extra but yet kind of not so I just everything about her I love now the only thing I don't love is because the fabric isn't coated it is pretty delicate so you know I just need to get over that hump that I just need to wear her and if it snags it snags but yeah I am afraid of snag obviously I wish this was coated and I wish they did something to seal um the edges of the bag because all of this in the edge it's all threading so even without wear the threads will eventually like stick up you're gonna have to snip the little edges off and unfortunately that's just kind of the way it is there's not much you can do about it it is what it is and it's fine but if they were to just you know make those small adjustments i personally think it would make such a big difference because you won't have to worry about the edges you won't you can wipe down the bag if they ever did make another version with that, I would totally get it. I'm also thinking about getting the leather um, version. If you guys have that one, let me know how you like it. Is it as delicate? Because if it isn't, that is definitely something that I would consider getting. Um, I just, I love baguettes. I want every single baguette there is out there. I think it's more, probably one of my favorites. So here she is. Fourth bag is this one. This is the Saint Laurent Calèche bag. Now I got this one from Fashion File. Um, this one, I love her so much. She's definitely one of those bags that's easy to use, carefree in my opinion. Um, the strap, here's the original strap it came with. Now it's similar to the Palace. It's not long enough to do crossbody and it's not, and then shoulder, I think it's an awkward length too. As beautiful as the strap is, it just wasn't functional for me personally. So I ended up carrying her as a top handle like this. But as we all know, when you're running errands and you're trying to get things done, you don't really want a top handle. It's just a little too much. So I actually just attached this little um, crossbody to it, which is really nice because it has, it, it still matches the bag perfectly, gunmetal on gunmetal, and it's a actual like crossbody size. And you can get these on Etsy, it comes in all sizes. I like mine a bit shorter, so it like sits right here um, where my hips are. But if you wanted it longer, you could totally do that. Um, and I just think that's been a game changer because I've definitely been wearing her more. 
now that she fits better as a crossbody. Fourth bag is my Chanel 19. I actually had her stuffed and all that. It was like top of the shelf. I didn't want to. <laughs> I was too lazy to like bring her down. Um, but I love my Chanel 19. The only thing I would change is I'm not loving like the um, the chain that's a part of the bag because I feel like the bag is super light. The chain is super heavy. It's just not proportionate to each other. And I don't know, um, I can insert some photos here, but if you look at the chain, some of the leather like sticks out. And I think it's because the way they glue it and then it sticks out. I mean, it's not loose or anything, but it definitely does like poke out. And I just don't love the way it look. It looks. I wish Chanel would did a, would have done a better job um, you know, like weaving it so it looks more seamless. I thought it was a error on my bag when I first purchased it, but I reached out to my essay. She said that that's normal. It's on many other bags. They're all like that. And I also had a couple of subscribers write me and say that theirs is just like that too. So comment below if that you see that on your bag too. I mean, I guess at this point, it doesn't matter. I've been using her and she's totally fine. But I just, you know, if you're paying so much, I wish that those little details would be a little bit more cleaned up. Um, and I just wish that the, the chain was a little bit more proportionate to the rest of the bag. Um, however, I still really love it. It's one of my favorite Chanel's just because she's casual, she's dressy, she's easy to use, she's a little edgy, but she's still classy. Everything that, you know, like the Fendi baguette is. So I put them like kind of in the same bucket. So I really love her. Another bag is my Gucci. This is a vintage bag. This one I think came out in the, I want to say like in either the early 2000s or 90s. It's definitely a vintage piece. Now I think this is such a good like classic for Gucci, but again, this is really an older um, model. And I just want to bring her in because I feel like sometimes uh, vintage bags don't get enough um, recognition and I love this. I just wish that the handle was a little bit lower so the drop wasn't like so tight against um, your armpits. And then I also wish that there were D-rings on the side here that I could attach like a strap to and wear it as a crossbody because I think every bag needs to have an option of a crossbody in for those days that you want to be hands-free but obviously um you know the days that you want to carry it where it looks better you have that option too so that's just my little mention for this little vintage piece um, and then lastly again this is um up on my shelf so i didn't bring it down but it's my speedy b i think it's in the 25 um that is one of my classics i love that bag because i got her in paris so it just really reminds me of that trip and louis vuitton it's you know, it's a story and all of that. However, um, I've heard this mentioned on many um, other channels as well as Patricia. And thank you, Patricia, for calling that out because I totally agree. The hardware tarnishes without even using the bag. And how can something tarnish so fast when you pay like a certain amount of money for it? Um, and similar to her story, I've tried many things and none of it has worked. So I kind of just left it you know, as is, but I kind of also am turned off using that bag because the tarnish does bother me a little bit and I don't want it to get worse. So it's been happily sitting on my shelf right now, but you know, again, I need to get out of my mind that I just need to use it. And if it, something happens, it happens, um, because we don't want to have money wasted. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that would be the last mention. And yeah, that's just my round of, of bags. These, I love all of these bags. It's just a little tiny little changes for these will make these bags perfect. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And like I mentioned, I'm trying to do a couple more videos per week. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you need anything or have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or DM me. Please give me a like if you enjoyed watching this and I will see you in my next one. Bye.